Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here with Automation Links. I wanna show you the three top email marketing companies that we recommend and compare them, show you, share with my thoughts and tell you which one I recommend and which one we actually use. And if that one doesn't fit your needs, you can choose from these two others, but they're really good recommendations. Uh, we're gonna start with MailerLite, we're gonna use ConvertKit, and we're gonna talk about Constant Contact. So when you first come to MailerLite, uh, we wanna talk about are they email marketing specialist? So that's the first thing we wanna see because a lot of times companies try to do everything and if you do everything, you're not gonna do everything well. You're gonna do everything mediocre, right? But if you are the specialist, you're the main person that does email marketing automation, then that's the company you can trust because you know they're gonna have everything it needs. So you're gonna see automation email marketing your way here. So let's head over to ConvertKit. Do they offer the same thing? Is it email marketing? Connect with your audience, make a living doing work you love. Email marketing software the way it should be. Email marketing software, it's not talking about anything else. Now with uh, Constant Contact, they offer two different things. They offer powerful email marketing made easy, but when you go to sign up, you're also gonna see that they try to have you build a website. So that's one negative about uh, Constant Contact that I would like to mention, is they're trying to be a specialist at both, email marketing and websites, instead of just focusing on the one thing they started out with. Uh, next thing I wanna do is compare the pricing. Now, MailerLite is, has the best and most competitive pricing out there. They're about half the price of companies like MailChimp and other normal softwares out there. So take a look at this, let's just base it off a thousand people here. So from one to a thousand is free. And that's why we recommend starting with MailerLite um, if you're a new company, because it's gonna be free to start and you can work your way up and build your way up. Uh, let's take a look at 2,500 here. Uh, 2,500 is going to be, I think, 15 a month. So as you can see, if you went to other competitors, they're gonna be around $30 to $60 a month. So free for 1,000 and 15 for 2,500. All right, let's take a look at ConvertKit. And they're very competitive also with their plans and pricing and they offer some great email marketing for bloggers. That's kind of what they're known for. So same sort of thing, you can start for free, which is great. But let's see how many subscribers. So you can have 500 subscribers for free. That's great, so if you're just starting out, this is a good option also. But what happens when you start going up? So let's take a look here. How many subscribers do you have? So let's take it to 2,500. Well, they have 3,000. So let's find one we can compare. 5,000 subscribers, $80 a month. And then let's take this one up to 5,000. We're at 30 a month. So you see why MailerLite's so much, um, comp so competitive with their pricing. I always recommend them for somebody that's on a budget because that's gonna be the best options there. All right, now let's take a look at constant contact pricing. So as you can see, they have email marketing or website pricing. Um, that's why I said they're trying to do a little bit of both. So you really wanna focus on one that just does the email marketing here. All right, so we're just gonna see what we, what do we see first? $20 a month, price based on number of contacts. So with constant contact, they're great. They're known for their awesome newsletter style emails, but you don't get a free account starting out. You gotta start at at least $20 a month. But if you really want the plus and like the automation stuff, it's gonna start right at 45 a month without even starting for free. So let's see if they have a calculator. They don't even have a calculator. So based on, let's buy email, let's see if this works. So based on what they offer, I would recommend this for a larger company um, that doesn't mind spending a lot of money on their emails. All right, so here we go. Let's take it to 5,000 email subscribers. and they're at 65 a month, but 95 a month if you want that automation. I would definitely recommend using automation. So automation comes included with MailerLite, comes included with $80 a month with ConvertKit, and then you have to do 65 for just broadcast emails or 95 if you wanna do the automation. So coming back to our blog, you can refer to some of the stats that we wrote about this. Um, we recommend MailerLite for all of our clients, small or big, whether you're just starting out or if you are a professional company, they offer the amazing automation, which I'll show you next, but they also offer the best pricing. Um, and I think last but not least is support. So let's take a look at the support before we jump into automation. I like to have a support, so if I have questions while I'm working, um, I can reach out to maybe a live chat or something that can give me quick support. So let's take a look here. 
I don't see any support right away on Miller Lite. So I see that they have cookies. And let's take a look here. Features. So no chat here. Now I do know when I log in, I see a live chat that's waiting for me to speak. All right, but on their homepage, before you pay, uh, there's no chat. All right, so let's take a look here. So it looks like they have a bot, so we can get on a call. No thanks, just browsing. Um, let's see how this bot works. A lot of times if this, they have this box here, it's called intercom, and they want you to just switch it to email. So it looks like they want me to just start emailing them instead of chatting with them. Let's take a look. Sometimes you can go back and send a message. All right, so you can chat and it says the team typically replies in a few hours. So it's still gonna end up probably an email because you're not gonna wait on their website for somebody to reply for a couple hours. Um, so it's still there for support, uh, but you're probably gonna get switched over to email pretty quick. And then let's take a look at constant contact. I don't see any chat options here. I do know that once you log in and create an account, they do have a live chat and they're pretty responsive. Um, I'll have to say they're not very helpful, but they're very responsive. So let's take a look here and let's get logged in and see what they have. Oh, before I go chat with us here, let's see how responsive they are. Okay, so they're very responsive. This is gonna be a live chat and somebody will be there to help me probably pretty quickly. When you see a pop-up like this, they're there to help you. Yep, perfect, Mandy's here to help me. So out of the three, I would say Constant Contact has the best support before actually signing up if you have questions. Um, and then let's log in and see what happens from there. Okay, now that I'm all logged in, let's check out their live chat here. So now MailerLite does have the live chat and I'll tell you they're very responsive, very helpful. They'll actually do a lot of the work for you. So if you have a pretty uh, hard question, they can jump in and help you. Then you'll see they respond in five minutes. Now that I'm logged into ConvertKit, they have the same chat here. Uh, let's see if the time's increased or if it's still just a couple hours. So I'm gonna do a new message. And still same thing, we'll re respond in a few hours and we already know Constant Contact has a uh, great live chat. All right, so next, uh, last, I wanna go over the automation. So automation, they have a workflow and I'll just show you an example of our workflow here. This is a good example. It's very self-explanatory. You basically start with which group or what list you wanna start the automation with. Um, that's gonna be step one here at the top. So when a subscriber joins my list, they're gonna get this first email. And then I can wait until 8 a.m. the next day and I get this email. And then I can send this email right after. And if I wanna continue adding, it's gonna give me multiple options. Emails, delays, conditions, actions. So here's some delays, which are really cool. You can choose from number of days, weeks, months, minutes, time of day, week, month, year. You can basically do anything with this automation, uh, which I really like. Also, I'll delete that you can have different conditions. So if you don't open my email, you can get a different email from me. If you do open it, you get a separate email. So I would say um, the automation of MailerLite is top notch, one of the best ones out there. Uh, ConvertKit, what I do like about them is they offer uh, videos to help you get started with new sequences. So let's just take a look at a new sequence. Uh, MailerLite, they're called automations. ConvertKit, they're called sequences. So I'm just gonna call this a test sequence and I'm gonna create it and see what happens here. And then Constant Contact, they have automation also. Um, they call them uh, campaigns, and you can set up automated campaigns in Constant Contact. All right, my sequence was created successfully. Now when looking at these email providers, just try to figure out which one you think would be the best fit for you. Um, take a look, sign up for free trials with them all, and it'll definitely help. Um, so as you can see, we can set it, it's automatically sent to do one day. Let's see if we can do immediately. So I really don't want one hour. What I want to do is send an email as soon as someone fills out the form, welcome email. So here we go. So if you switch it to zero hours, it's gonna to switch to immediately. And here's your email, pretty easy. Let's do another email. And now this can be one day after or a certain number of days after, choose your day. Now what I do wanna do is see if there's any settings to where if they don't fill it out, let's say they don't open this email, I don't want them to get the second email, something like that. Um, filters, nope, draft, nope. So it doesn't have um, all the automation features MailerLite has, simply just has a sequence where you can go through the line. Let's see if automations um, has something different here. Another thing you wanna look for is, you know, besides the price, uh, the chat, 
and then the automations, you also wanna look for the style of emails. So, oh, here we go. Here's your visual automation. So it looks like everything's right in the automation section. Let's, so, let's start that. So can you write plain style emails? I always like to write plain style emails that are just a normal email that looks like came from my Gmail account. Um, usually a lot of companies just want you to do newsletter style emails with images and buttons. Those look great, uh, but they don't always are, they're not always going to land in the inbox. They're going to go to the promotion folders, or if it's the first time you email them, even the spam folder. All right. So as soon as somebody joins a form, I want to add a new event, um, probably have to create that form. So test tag. So I'm just going to do tag now since I don't have any forms. All right, so here we go. This looks very similar to automate or Mailer Light here. Really similar. So I'm going to do a plus email delay. Okay, so very comparable with Mailer Light. You can do uh, tags, delays, custom fields, move subscribers to different uh, sections. So I would say uh, Mailer Light and uh, ConvertKit are very comparable for their automations. So now you're going to be looking at they both have great automations. Which one has the better price? as your business grows, right? So you want to look at price for that. Which one has better support? I would say Mailer Light has better support because they respond back in five minutes. Okay, last but not least, we're going to go over the email automation in constant contact. So when you click create to create an email, you're going to see email automation, uh, send emails automatically when someone joins. So well, let's do an automated series. It looks like this would be the option here. And this should be creating that automation series like we did in Mailer Light and also ConvertKit. So let's take a look. I'm just going to name it test for now. And then we're going to see what this automation looks like here. So select an email trigger. Um, when they join a list, that's usually how we want to start. Um, let's just use a test list here. And then we're going to hit save and see what happens um, with these. All right. So it looks like it's pretty similar. Uh, it waits four days. Let's edit that. I want to send it immediately. Confirm. And then we can create an email or an existing email. Let's see the options. You can edit the step. I'll create a new email later. All right, let's see what else we have. Add to series. Um, this looks like another email you can send or an email you sent in the past. I'm not seeing anywhere where I can remove people from the list um, or send them an email if they open or don't open. Um, let's see here, delivery settings. I think that's about it. So when comparing email marketing, look for these different things, pricing, uh, the chat and how responsive their support is, um, email automation, let's see how that is. And then last but not least, the templates and making sure it's a plain text uh, email template or newsletter style template. Make sure you start a live chat with us if you have any questions or choose for yourself and let us know which one in the comments you choose. Thanks again for watching. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner and founder of HelpLink.com. It's my mission and my passion to help others with their business. So if I can be your coach, your mentor, or help you in any way, that's my goal. My goal is to bring you value. So let me know if there's anything I can help you with, and I look forward to working with you.